Welcome to my Common Rider X Aid Episode 23 Review Slash Reaction. By me, of course. Now, I did sort of see this shit happening. I did call it when, you know, once he had his Tower of Doom, that Dan, the man, the beast, the king, the god, the, the sweet prince known as Dan Kuroko, I knew that this would probably be his last day, but the show actually went ahead and did it. They actually killed off Dan. And as much as it, ah, I mean, I wouldn't have said this initially, like around episode 12, but Dan Kuroko was probably like my, one of my favorite x aid character. That was alive at the time, but that doesn't really work anymore either, because he's dead. But yes, I was initially on the Dan Kuroto hate train. Well, not really the hate train, it was sort of like the love to hate him, but it eventually turned the love to love him, because he was like the star of the fucking show. When he killed my boy, as you know, I moan about this shit literally every fucking week. But when he killed my boy, I almost said, when he killed my boy Dan Kuroto, no, I didn't mean the suicide himself. When he killed my boy Kujo Kuria, I was like, yo, fuck this dude and everything he stands for. Fuck his mama, fuck his daddy, fuck everybody. But I did not understand at the time that that, was, that occurred that he would eventually become the fucking star of the show. I mean, honestly... Dan is fucking great. These past few weeks, I've been doing nothing but talking about fucking Dan because he is the hype of X-A. Not saying there ain't nothing else in X-A to like, but personally, he was what I was looking forward to, and now he's dead. It's like, holy shit. For once, I understand the pain of having your fucking ca favorite characters killed off on you. Because usually my, main, my favorite characters would tend to be main characters, but they go through shit, but they don't usually get killed off. But now, next day, nothing against my boy, Emu is a beast. But my favorite character was Kujo Kira, and then he died, and then, my, then I transferred my will from that dead boy to fucking Danny. And now Danny's gone. I'm like, God damn. Who... What the fuck's the matter? <laughs> my next new favorite could possibly be, be Tyga, but I was talking to one of my boys on Twitter. He could probably be, he could be next. He could be next. We don't fucking know. There's two writers have died in this fucking show. Now, granted, one of them was a fucking antagonist writer, but a writer nonetheless, and he's dead. Two writers died. We are on t episode 23. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this show. If I had any less faith in this show, I'd be like, oh shit, could this be where X8 goes downhill? Now, I will admit, I was worried about that a little bit, but I, I don't want to be one of those guys who just has one of his favorite characters die and decides to drag everybody else down because, you know, he's sad. Now, I have to be the one who takes that burden because usually I, I know which ones are going to die just from, just, just from, you know, guessing. You could guess how people are, how most people are going to die in most shows, but. With this, I was completely wrong. I didn't think... Well, I knew Kujo was going to die, but I didn't think he was going to be my fucking main character. I didn't think he was going to be my fucking favorite, and now he's my favorite, and he got killed off. This is what I get for all my years of laughing at people who always get their favorite characters uh, killed off. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. But now it's happening to me. Well... I guess technically it happened in the Ryuki too, but you'll never get out of me who it is because I'm not going to fucking spoil, though, you know. Death is a very common thing in Ryuki. But anyway, yeah, like I said, Dan the man's gone. I don't know how we're going to replace him, but P Palette or whatever the fuck, he, he ended my boy Dan, he killed his ass, which, you know, that wasn't really all that surprising. I mean, he did just whoop his ass up and down the street like four weeks ago or whenever. It was only a matter of time before he had enough of Dan shit. Dan served his purpose. He made the Common Rider Chronicle. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. When this dude was going around, you know, pissing off Palad and everything, I was like, this dude is not going to last. I knew he was going to, I knew he was going to have to die, but not so soon. And I knew that Palad was going to end up killing him or maybe just screwing him over or something, but he outright fucking murked the motherfucker. And now... He's got his hands in Common Rider Chronicle, and he, he whispered to Dan as he was on the floor died. He was like, mm -mm -mm, I, got I got Chronicle now, bitch. So much for that. You know, I mean, Dan didn't have it covered. He didn't call all the butchers, you know, puppets and, you know, fucking... He basically called them shitters, you know. Oh, well, if you're not a fucking human, you're, I'm only the game master matters. You guys are just part of my game. Know your role. So it's not like, you know, he was really good pals with Palad or anything. So it wasn't really all that surprising of a betrayal. But, you know. Anyway, 
I'm pretty sure that's what I'm about to cover this week. I don't know. I don't know where the show's going. I honestly don't know. Rest in peace, Dan. I know I wasted most of this episode, uh, most of this review talking about Dan, but fuck. That's the main thing about this episode. It was the Dan, it was the final Dan episode. What, what else am I supposed to do? Also, if I got a fucking, I'm, I'm watching my computer here. I don't keep it. I don't keep it cleared up enough, and I'm pretty sure it's running out of space as I record. So. You know, I, I, I'm walking that thin line right now. This could very well end any second. But just know. Just know. If I got a fucking dollar for every fucking time somebody grabbed Emu by the collar and slammed him up against the wall and just grabbed his ass, her, I'd be a fucking rich man. How many times is somebody going to fucking pull on his fucking collar? That's just got to be stretched out like to fuck by now. But anyway, yes. Awesome episode. Looking forward to next week. Danny cried. Danny died. Emu cried. You know, it's a damn shame. But maybe we'll get a new fucking swagger. I didn't know Dan was gonna be the fucking. I didn't know Dan was gonna be Dan the man by the end of the fucking his by the end of his run. So, who the fuck do I know? So the new villain could even be better. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know nothing about X anymore. It's too, it's too crazy to call. And now my jacket's falling off. So I'm gonna end the video here.